at last night's Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs on winning their second ring in a row. After, yeah, yeah. yeah. After beating the 49ers in overtime, a lot of eyes were trained on Chief star player Travis Kelsey and his girlfriend Taylor Swift. From his tense exchange with coach Andy Reid to Travis and <laughs> Taylor celebrating on the sidelines after the win. So much going on. Bum, bum, bum. What did you think of all those moments? Patrick Mahomes. That's what I got up. <laughs> guy is going down as one of the best quarterbacks of all time. He carried that game on his back. He literally thrives under pressure. How many people can say that? I can promise you, I do not. (laughs) I am a choker in a lifeboat. Don't pick me up. But (laughs) this guy, literally, the more pressure was on, the worse it got, the better he was. Well, he's a leader. The quarterback generally is the leader, and you could see that he was rising, riling up his team. He was telling him, let's go, let's go, let's go. And those, the last play was masterful, and what I loved was in the, uh, in overtime, he basically took a chance. As a quarterback, you know, you, my son used to play football. As a quarterback, you usually don't uh, run that much. He took that ball right down the center. He no. could have been hit by anyone. He wanted to win. He was the MVP. And I'm surprised so many people are kind of like focusing in on Kelsey because he didn't have his best game. He was screaming at his coach. And I will tell you, after seeing the outfit that he walked in with, oh, you have not gotten this outfit. Say, I don't know. She has he, been shaming this outfit. Honey, can I just I'm tell you, it looks a little bit like the dress you got on exactly. today. Exactly. Which is why I'm going to say, I, I don't think, think this match. Taylor Swift, Kelsey thing is going to work. So, oh, man, it but it's all on the outfit. That's that violence. That, that <laughs> outfit, that outfit showed a lot of swag. That was a lot of swag outfit. I'm not sure the two match. Well... That's all I'm saying. So I was texting throughout the night with Brian because I had, you know, I don't do football. I had, I'm like completely ignoramus. And when it got to the overtime, I was like, what in the hell is happening now? Yeah. And he said, sudden death. I said, sudden death is what I'm going to have if this thing doesn't end uh, soon. But I was incredibly surprised at how good the game was, particularly yeah. that last quarter. Well, the first quarter. half was like mayonnaise, but then it got better. Some people like mayonnaise. But... Um, <laughs> Particularly in the South. <laughs> True. But I, I was just incredibly into it at that last moment. I can't believe these words are actually coming out of my mouth. I can't yeah. believe it either. But I was, I was rooting for the 49ers when they had possession. I was rooting, possession, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> yes. I, I was rooting yeah. for the Kansas City people when they, were, when they had possession. It was like, I was so, people. I was just like, I think it was a good, uh, good way to end uh, and have a bay so close. It was exciting. It I was felt insane. exactly the same way because I just, I don't follow football. I never have. I think I like football now. That was so much fun. <laughs> the last few minutes, I was on the edge of my no, 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 don't, don't, yeah. don't. <laughs> right? Right? It's, I don't think we should base. I don't think we should base this on like. This, okay, this was minutes. like a remarkable game. Yeah. But also such a good Super Bowl. Usher crushed it. And, oh. Oh. and I oh. have to mention. Shall I bring it up first and then let you go off and, and talk about all that? Because I, I, I did not see anything. So. One unrelated. Oh, I, wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. To okay. Add to. Well, hold on. We'll go to Usher. Are we getting a line? Usher, Usher is my hand. Okay. <laughs> Usher took the stage for his much-anticipated halftime show where he was joined by fellow superstars yes. Alicia Keys, Jermaine Dupri, Lil Jon, Will, I Am, Ludacris, and her. Take a look. Yes. Black History Month. Um, this is Black History Month, so um, that's why I see me dressed in this. I told you, I told you, happy Black History Month. Is came in with on with, on the field with dressing so splashy, so dressing like she was going to was going to the party. Why he get in and he went and change. We could see that they talk about him forcing with the head coach until um you could see people commenting on the comment session that's very rude of him he has to be sanctioned no matter what you cannot be fighting with your coach you cannot be disrespectful and the coach is an older man travis needs to be sanctioned travis needs to pull out 
they need to pull him out and self and to teach him a lesson according to them they talk about um travis and taylor swift um we could see taylor swift there coming to support her boyfriend and all of them were there so far in that show and the women in the views give their own various opinion according to sony the way travis is dressing travis does not match with taylor swift he doesn't see that they'll go far that relationship is not going to be a relationship that is going to last for long according to sony so that's not going to go anywhere so that's not the relationship to bear the last Tony's on opinion because the way travis dresses and kansas city finally won and they were happy all of them were very happy about that and they talk about patrick mohams um that he was a quarterback and he was very smart very energetic he was being a policy for that they clap the they appreciate him for that he has more strength why the game is going more harder um that was him and you could see that he talks about god normally they will not talk about god but him on the field you could see him happy and say he give glory to god he wants to thank god for giving him the strength to win so and they talk about um taylor swift and travis they make a very um impact board that's what makes the maga they are afraid of them and they are like they are just going wild on them they see one significant thing they talk about president donald trump made a statement and made right up he see and signed and was responsible for musical mo modernization for that tyler swift called um it's a sign and responsible for music modernization modernization set for tyler swift and all other musical um artists that's why tyler had a lot of money because of the modernization that donald trump made tyler had a lot of money tyler has a lot of money more than the boyfriend travis a lot because Donald Trump made that modernization to favor the musician. So despite that, President Donald Trump said that, but yet he went and endorsed Binder. That Binder have never done nothing for them. Anyway, he still loved Travis. Although Travis is Libra, he still loved them. So basically, the women in the view did not find out funny. And they were just laughing at what President Donald Trump is doing. Basically, what do you think? Do you think that um, Taylor Swift could have endorsed Donald Trump because of that monetization that Donald Trump did for musical artists, which make her to have a lot of money? Or do you think that um, he could have voted, he could have endorsed Ben Bina? Bina has not done nothing to him. Or do you think that you're looking for somebody who is very um, credential who can do more better? Do you think that Travis? Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please hit subscribe and share this video. Let me see your own opinion. God bless you.